Hello everyone, this is Gaurav from Automation Hacks and welcome to the next video in our series on testing gRPC. In this video, we are going to understand how do you actually write an end-to-end -end functional test for a gRPC service. If you are a developer or an SDET who wants to set up a framework or uh, a test harness for writing end-to-end -end tests on gRPC servers, then this video is for you. So let's get started. I have this blog on how do you write an end-to-end -end test for a gRPC service already. It's there on newsletter.automationhacks.io. So you can go there and take a look at it. We are not going to walk through each and every uh, line in this blog. That would be boring. We would rather just take the ID and go through it. But I wanted to show you that you have this uh, sort of text write-up in case you prefer it as well. So let's flip to IntelliJ and get started. So before you can write or automate an end-to-end -end test, it's important to understand what's the service method we are actually automating. So I'll show you that very quickly. So I'll show you that very quickly. Let's make sure that we have uh, our code built and let's start the server if it's not. Actually, the server is already started, so we don't need to do it. This is the command you would do to start a server instance. Let's uh, start gRPC UI so that we can inspect um, our server. And we are going to just automate this get feature method, right? So if you give it some given latitude and longitude and a feature does not exist, it returns empty. If you return a valid feature, then it should return a valid response. So this is something that we want to say automate. So how do you go about it? We'll write a test client first and you can find this under source main root guide and you can see root guide test client, right? So let's just understand this quickly. This will be pretty easy since we have already seen how to write a unit test client. So you can see that I am initializing the logger here. I am then initializing the blocking stub. And now I have a simple constructor which takes a host and a port as an input. Then it uses managed channel builder from gRPC. And for the given address for the host and port, it will ensure that it creates a channel. Here we just use plain text and the builder interface to get a handle to it. Next, we use root guide gRPC's new blocking stub and pass it this channel that we have just created. Now notice here that here the host and port is not something that we are creating as an in process. It's rather the host and port of the live server that must be running on some cloud infrastructure or on-premise data center, stuff like that. Whatever is the infrastructure you have in your company, we just pass that as an input. And we have a simple method called as get feature, which takes a point and then it uh, makes the actual call to that given gRPC server with the get feature method and then it returns the feature. So pretty simple as a client. Let's understand how do you write a test for it. So I'll come to my end-to-end -end test. And here um, I have just hard-coded the host as localhost and port as 8980. If you uh, remember from the server that we are running, our server is locally running on this given port itself. In a live framework, you would not want to uh, hard-code this this way. The good way of doing it would be store it in a properties file, read it from that properties file, and then persist it throughout your tests. I have this test um, called as test get feature. Here I'm using testng as the framework of choice. Um, I log, okay, that I'm executing this test. I initialize my client with the host and port. And then I just create a latitude and longitude variable, create a point object using new builders, set latitude, set longitude. And then I use my test client to actually make the call, right? I get the feature back. Once the call is made, I want to assert that it actually gave me the appropriate response. So I check that, all right, if I take the get name, then it should give me a name that I expect. Now, how would, uh, how do we make sure that uh, the server is actually going to return this? In this example, we have um, a root guide db.json 
where we have a list of latitude and longitudes and if you can see um, this is something that we are seeding right when the server is started locally so in, in a live service this will of course come from a database or uh, some other data store um, but here it works so now let's just make sure that we can uh, test this manually once as well so if i give this latitude and longitude to my locally running grpc server uh, let's just see if it gives the expected response and here it actually returns the same name which is what i'm ex uh, asserting in this uh, assertion as well so let's just run our test via intellij i can run this cool it runs the test get feature and it logs and of course this passes if I were to say modify this to something else and run yeah so our test fails it can't find that given uh, location that we are expecting and that's about it that is how you would actually test any given method that is running on a given gRPC server the fundamentals remain almost same I hope this was useful um, in case you found it helpful please give it a like share and subscribe and uh, I'll see you next time.